Hi there, my name is Peter Malloy and this is another Revit tutorial showing how to create unique pattern styles for surface patterns. So if you want to create a, a unique pattern on a wall, floor, roof, um, you know, model in place components, anything like that, um, a useful software that I found was PY Revit. Now in PY Revit you can come in here and make your own um, pattern styles which I've done in the past, it's really really handy software. Um, so how you actually create like a unique pattern is just literally what I've do done here is drawn out in detail lines uh, a specific pattern, nothing too complicated here, just a you know 1200 by 4000, I don't even know, whatever whatever pattern you're looking for, you sketch that out and you sketch it just in a little box just to get the whole kind of pattern and then whatever it's reoccurring. So if this is reoccurring over a plane, just draw one section of that reoccurring pattern and then you come up here, you highlight all your detail lines, you come into PY Revit, you come into Make Pattern, and I like this, this brings up this dialog here, which is um, making the pattern out of the software. So I like to click, this is the settings I use, I like to use model pattern, um, use highest resolution, scale number, leave all this kind of as is. Um, and then give it a name. So I'm just going to call this one um, stone, uh, stone, whoops, it is easy, stone wall hatch. example and then I just simply say create pattern and then what I do is this is very important this bit you grab the top of the pattern and then you grab the bottom wherever it finishes where like we discussed earlier where the recurrence so you grab the bottom and you click that and then this will come up so what this means here I know it looks like a kind of an error but it's not this this actually means that it's been created so if I come into my wall here which I have in 3d here and I go into edit type, I just have stone wall here, and come into edit, and come into stone slab, whatever the name of your wall is, yada yada. Let's take one second here. So I just have it set as stone slab here. This is the most important one here. See surface pattern. Whatever your pattern wants to want you want it to be, you can do this in your cut pattern as well. But for this instance, we're going to be using the foreground of the surface pattern. So I click into this, go into model like, like we had. I'm just going to click in stone. In here and then we're going to see stone wall hatch example and we're going to click that now it's obviously a big pattern so we're not going to see anything in here so i'm just going to click apply okay okay and now you'll see that my pattern has uh, has been created in here so the beauty about creating these patterns is i can come in here and elevation and as long as the wall or whatever component you're modeling isn't locked or pinned up here if if it is pinned unpin it and then what you can do is you can tab grab your pattern and move it to wherever you want it to be so if i wanted to move this let's say 20 or like you know 800 mil to align with you know i don't know an upstand or something like that you can do that and then boom there it is you know um and that's yeah just a really handy way of changing the surface patterns without downloading any of the pat files or anything like that so download PY Revit come in here to making patterns like like we said um, just simply create the pattern there and then just grab the extent of it uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful please drop a comment in the description if I've left anything out also if you drop a comment in the description of any videos you'd like to see in the future that'd be awesome um, also, if you can like and uh, subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. I'm trying to really get on board and grow the channel, so that'd be awesome. And also, if you could share it, if you know any of your buds in college or in work or yada yada, just yeah, shoot them over a link if you think any of these videos are helpful. Um, yeah, have a good week, and I'll chat to you next week. Cheers.